In this video, we're gonna show you how to achieve this bokeh effect with the PGZ Optics Studio Pro. Stay tuned and take a look here. The bokeh effect is a popular and aesthetically pleasing photographic technique that creates a soft, out of focus background while keeping the main subject sharp and in focus. In this guide, we'll show you how to use the PTC Optics Studio Pro camera to achieve a stunning bokeh effect and captivate your audience. The most straightforward lighting to work with is often called flat lighting, meaning the lighting is evenly dispersed throughout the scene. We recommend establishing your lighting as close to flat as possible before proceeding. While the LAN output is viable, for best resolutions and frame rates, it is recommended that you use the HDMI output to send the video signal from your Studio Pro to your encoding device or computer. We recommend setting all of the camera's exposure, color, image, and focus settings to default before proceeding. Determine exactly where you want the subject to be in the camera shot. Create as much separation as possible between the subject and the background for best results. The greater the distance between the subject and the background, the more blurry you will be able to create. With the subject in place, zoom the camera into the desired level. Enter the camera's on-screen menu and select the exposure settings, and switch the exposure to manual mode. Turn the iris to the lowest setting, f1.8. The lower the f-stop number, the more light your camera will bring in, thus increasing the blur in the background. Next, adjust the shutter setting to 1 over 30 using the arrow keys. Lastly, feel free to adjust the gain settings. Higher numbers will increase the blur. You want to keep the image bright, but not too bright though, because increasing the settings too far can cause the brighter colors to blow out. If the image is too bright and washed out, we recommend bumping the f-stop and shutter speed up by small increments until you are content with the quality and brightness of your image, keeping in mind, again, that the brighter you can get the image, the more blur you will have. This can be a bit of a balancing act and is really up to your preference. Return to the main menu and scroll down to select focus menu. Please copy the settings in the image here and exit the menu. Please see the Studio Pro manual for a detailed explanation of this menu. Exit this menu and use the near focus button on the bottom of the IR remote to bring the subject into focus. If you've created enough space between the subject and the background, the subject will be in focus and the background will be blurred. If you would like to save the bokeh setup you've created, simply set it as a camera preset. To do this, press the preset button on your IR remote, followed by the number you would like to assign it to. And there you have it. You're seeing me right now through the Studio Pro, and that is how you achieve the evoke effect with this camera. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.